given question 4, so a student conducts an experiment and records the following data for two variables x and y. The student is told that the relationship between x and y can be modelled by an equation of the form y equals kb to the power x. Part A wants us to plot values of log 10 y against x on the grid below. Okay, so I've already done what you need to do first, but it's find the log 10 y values in the table. So on your calculator, just use the LOG log and you're putting in the y values. So make sure you get the same as I've got here. Okay, so then plotting the points should look like this, so they almost lie in a straight line. Now part B wants us to state with a reason which value of y is likely to have been recorded incorrectly. So there is one point there, really ruining our straight line. And we're looking at this guy here, which is when x is equal to 4. So that y value is 1100. So we would say y equals 1100. And then the reason would be it doesn't fit with the rest of the data. Okay then, part C. By drawing an appropriate straight line, find the values of B and K. Okay, so the appropriate straight line is a line of best fit with the data, although ignoring the one we talked about in part B. So, mine looks like that. Now, this line is not of the form y equals mx and c, it's log 10 y equals mx and c. So, we need to transform the model into log 10 y equals. So, we know y is equal to k b to the power x. Now, let's take a log 10 of both sides. So we get log 10 of k b to the power x. Now on the right, we can split that into two logs. So the right is log 10 k. Add log 10 of b to the power x. Okay, now, to make it more relatable to y equals mx add c, I'm then going to say log 10 y is equal to, now, log base 10 of b to the power x using the rules of logs is x log b and 
and then we have add log k. Now, to make things more relatable then, in y equals mx add c, m is the gradient, so here, the log 10 of b is our gradient, and c is our y-intercept. So, here, a log tan of k is our y, or a log tan y intercept. So, we now need to find the gradient of the line and the y, or log tan y intercept. Okay then, well, let's do k first, because that's a bit easier. So, for the log 10 k, we need to know where our line crosses the vertical axis. So, I'm going to get a log 10 of k. Is equal to... So, I'm going to say mine is about 0 0.7. This is where to very important to realise your line will be slightly different. You're going to get slightly different answers. So I'm using 0 0.7. Now that means then that says that k is equal to 10 to the 0 0.7. Which to three sig figs gives us five point zero one. Okay, now to find B, we need to find the gradient of the line. So log ten of B. Now, for the gradient of the line, I've used the two furthest away points. So, when x is 1 and when x is 6. So, for that, and remember, we're using the log 10 y values, not the y values. So, our gradient is going to be 3.53. Minus 1.15 Over 6, take 1, which is 5 Now that gives us 0 0.47 Six. So that is telling us that B is 10 to a 0 0.476. And that is going to give us 2.99 So, your answers probably won't be exactly the same, but they should be somewhere in the region. Okay then guys, that's number 4 done, on to number 5, we go.